Hi, and welcome to my, not so much a review, it's just more on my experience so far, um, a week in with my new audio PC. That is the AMD 3950X 16 core 32 thread beast of a machine. So let's first look at the PC. What this is, is a Fractal Design Define or something 7 case. I don't have any CD-ROMs or disk drives because we are no longer in the 90s. I have the Be Quiet fan. Now, I have to stress that I did not build this. This was courtesy of the wonderful people at Scan, or 3XS who are much better at building machines than I am, because I could build one, but it would not be as neat and tidy as this. I mean, I'm not sure if my phone will allow me to focus, but all the cables are plugged away. So what do I have in here? I have 64 gigs of Corsair RAM. It's basically the fastest RAM that you can fit on a X570 motherboard. And we come onto the motherboard. The motherboard is an Aurorus X570 Extreme. Now, I did have an AS Rock Tai Chi initially on the first configuration that was sent to me. However, a lot of X570 motherboards have little fans on the motherboard, and the AS Rock Tai Chi was a little bit noisy. Uh, in fact, it was just as noisy as my old machine, which I was a little bit miffed about. So. I sent it back to scan. They they were really good. They sent an empty box and put it all back in. And we had conversations on the telephone and lots of emails and stuff. They were very patient. I'm sure they're absolutely bored of me now um, because they're not responding to my emails anymore. But I don't blame them, I guess. Um, but this motherboard is passive. So what that means is there is no chipset fan. And the NVMe drives, I've got a 500 gig NVMe in there for the system and then I have another two terabyte Sabrin NVMe um, under there that actually fits three NVMe slots and they kindly put in a position behind this uh, for two SSDs as well so it's silent it really I mean I'm going to put this right next to the fan you can't hear the machine at all it's very silent um, and it keeps quite cool the temperature of the CPU is about 43 degrees the hottest thing on this thing at the moment is the chipset the chipset on the as rock tai chi my first motherboard was rocking in at around about 60 63 degrees celsius and i i knew that was wrong so this motherboard which is absolutely built like a tank all of this is really really thick metal i mean it's ridiculous the chipset uh, is at 53 degrees under load so that's not bad, because apparently X570 boards run quite hot. That's one thing I learned um, while I was doing a little bit of research. The motherboard, I think, is a MSI 570. Basically, it's passive until it gets to 60 degrees, and then it turns on. Uh, so, yeah, that's never going to make a noise, because I don't play games. I got it because it's got about five DisplayPort outputs on it. So it's pretty cool. And that last one at the bottom there is my Thunderbolt for my RME sound card, which is there. One thing that I do miss from the AS Rock Tai Chi that this doesn't have. Now, this is about four times the price of the AS Rock Tai Chi. Okay, this is about a £700 motherboard. It doesn't have Thunderbolt 3. I was a little bit upset about that. I know, I know a lot of motherboards don't have Thunderbolt 3 for AMD. But I would have liked to have had it for 700 and whatever quid. Um, whereas the AS Rock, which was only 200 or not even that, 150 quid or whatever, um, that had Thunderbolt 3, two ports of them. Um, so I'm a little bit miffed that this, apparently the most top of the range motherboard, doesn't have Thunderbolt 3. However, it's not a problem because I don't have a UAD. Um, and I'm sure down the line UAD may do a USB C or USB 3. Um, I know they've got one at the moment, USB 2 and a PCI, but I don't want that. 
um, and I'm okay at the moment. So as you can see inside there, it's absolutely beautiful. There's no cables anywhere, which is pretty much the, if you look inside my, <laughs> it's the only part of my studio that doesn't have cables everywhere. Um, so back to the machine. Okay, so what do I have here? It's got Windows. So the actual machine is a 3950X 16 core process with 64 gigs of RAM, 500 gig NVMe, and then for Drive D for my audio and samples, um, I have a two terabyte Sabrent um, thing that I've got off. Um, I got off Amazon on Black Friday for 180 quid. They're about 260 at the moment. Ridiculous now things. Um, anyway, so we have Windows Pro, Windows 10 Pro. What I have here is Cubase 10.5. And to give you an idea of what power this thing possesses, what I have here is I have a typical patch that you would probably normally have serum used for. It's not the most crazy patch, it's not the least patch, so it's got a sub oscillator, some noise, uh, os oscillator E with one unison, oscillator B, two unison filter, and some effects. Okay, that's fine. In addition to that, what I also like to use, I also like to use console one on every channel. So I have the SSL 4000 and I'm actually using all the processes. I'm using the dynamic shaper, I'm using the EQ, I'm using the compressor and I'm using the drive function as well. So it's not just in passive mode. I'm actually using every aspect of that, as you can see. Okay, now this is where it does get a little bit crazy. I've put Cubase under load, so I've opened up quite a few serums, so, and they've all got the SSL console one on. As you can see, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. They're all the same, okay? And I've got up to 155 channels, as you can see from here. Let me scroll. There we go, 155 channels here. <laughs> now I'd never ever make a project with 155 serums with SSL EQ on it, but there you go. It's playing. Now this is where it does get a little bit even more crazy because I'm running at, and I, on my old machine, which was an old i7-260K, I used to rock in at 512. Now this is at 256 samples. So the latency is not bad. I can operate with that. I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm okay. I can play on the keyboard with that latency. I'm okay with that. And you can see by the CPU usage. Um, let me play the thing. I could look in at all the cores, but they pretty much keep a spreads the load across all the cores of the 32 threads. What is interesting is that because I've got it so loaded, I'm using 29 gig of RAM. Okay, so it's future proof. I've got 64 gigs of RAM. Um, so this is this is good. This is why I wanted more RAM as well. And it's apparently good RAM as well. It's not ECC RAM or anything, but you can get that on on Threadrippers, I think. I'm not too sure. So that's Cubase. That's Cubase running 155 serums, each with a console, one soft tube, SSL, gate or dynamic shaper, EQ, compressor, and distortion or drive functionality, your harmonic function. Um, all on each channel. You can see, I can pick on any single one, they're all the same. Yeah, and I can even scroll through the tracks. You can even see, you can see all the tracks as I scroll up and down, so I'm not lying. Yeah, and I'm not even, I'm not even going crazy on it. And I also have Microsoft Word open, uh, 
some other apps and everything open as well. So, uh, 3XS machine um, pimped up. I did work with them on it, um, and I could never build a machine as beautiful as that. So, fair play to them guys. Fair play to their patience. Uh, to I have been a fussy customer. I'm not going to lie. I have sent it back. There's been lots and lots of emails that I think they're ignoring ignoring my latest emails at the moment because there's just a few more little things that I need to clarify with them. Um, I, another thing I forgot to say is I've got yeah uh, some DMG plugin on, on which I'd really like to have just for a special analysis on the master. So I've got Duet running as well as um, an analyzer as well, and it's still working. Noise level. You can't hear it. It's silent. It's hundred percent silent. Now there was a little issue. So the only issues I had with this motherboard is one, it doesn't have Thunderbolt. That's ridiculous for the price I paid for it. But it's PCI four. It's, it's got everything else. And I'm not using UAD. I'm using RME. So it's not a problem. The other thing as well is the power curve on um, the fan speed. So the fan speed you you got in the BIOS settings, you can set it to silent and so forth less. However, the silent setting, when you're using something like Cubase or everything, the processor kind of goes above 40, 43 degrees and dips back down. And the fan is in time with just that perfect temperature. So it rides up and down. So you hear the fan moving up and down. All I did is I went into the BIOS and just altered the fan curve just very slightly. So I moved it from sort of like 45 degrees or something to 50 degrees and then it ramped it up by another um, 5, 10% or so. So the power and fan curve is still going like that. As the hotter the CPU and chipset gets, then the fan speed goes up um, where it was a little bit more like that, even not, well, like that on, on settings, but. That's all I had to do. It's a little bit of tweaking in the BIOS. It's not that difficult. Uh, it took me a few attempts because I had it really silent and then the temperature went up too much. And so I adjusted it to a noise level where I still can't hear it. And the fan and the CPU temperature is at 43 degrees. The chipset is at 50, 53 under load. Um, the NVMe is rocking in the, the top NVMe. The system one is kind of right underneath the graphics card and this, near the CPU. So that's a little bit hotter. That's running at about 50 degrees, which I'm not too happy with. Um, and the second NVMe, which is a little bit further away, which is un behind the graphics card, that's at about 30 degrees. So I'm going to have to have a little think about that. But it should be okay. should be okay. So... Would I recommend AMD? I mean, it's solid. It's, 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 it is solid. I didn't build this, you know, the guys at 3XX did. So, um, let's, I mean, look at the tests here. Performance tests, they've done all this. I don't know what they're doing here. These are all things that they've done. I don't know, latency tests and stuff like that. I, I am not a geek, I can just plug things in together and do it, but they, they've, it's good. It's really good. It's silent. It's fast. It's solid. It's beyond anything I need, <laughs> but that's what I want it to be because I'm going to be hopefully having this for the next five, seven years. And yeah, it's, I would say probably for the equivalent Mac pro, you're looking at about 10 grand or so. So I mean, yes, I would love a Mac Pro, I'm not going to lie, but for an entry level one, which is five, six grand, and then you've got to add more stuff onto it, it brings it up to about seven or eight. So you're looking at eight grand. This was, um, you know, two and a half, two and a bit more, a little bit more, um, closer to three if you include the second hard drive. But yeah, overall, very good. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? 153 of these, each with an SSL crazy so yeah that's my not so much a review of the amd 3950x it's just to kind of demonstrate that it is ridiculous i mean that's more power than you'll ever need for anything ever um so yeah if you've got any questions in the comments ask me uh, i will 
try and respond because I was looking online on YouTube for something about top of the range AMD for audio work. And with a little bit of tweaking and probably pissing off the guys that scan a little bit, I do apologize, but they're very, very patient. Um, I've managed to finally get the perfect machine. Uh, well, perfect for me anyway. I mean, it's, it's rock solid. Uh, yes, I'm going to use that one for my Plex server and internet and stuff like that. And this is going to be purely for audio. Um, so it's not, it's not going to have anything else on it. But the additional plugins and upgrades and stuff like that. And then three dimension returns. This will obviously um, get worse with age. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, and there's minimal moving parts. So, yeah. It's a nice machine. I'm happy with it. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous. 150. <laughs> I can't get my head around that because my old, um, I could probably run about 16, 20 on that on my old 2600 i7 four core. Um, and even then it crashed all the bloody time. It was a nightmare. But there we go. Uh, yeah, that is the my little roundup of the AMD 3950X with the Aurorus 570 Extreme passive motherboard with no fans. Ever. I love this motherboard. It's, it's, it is built like a tank. Um, I cannot do reviews like computer people do reviews. That is a solid bit of kit. Yes, it's ridiculous for the money. And yes, I'm a little bit pissed it doesn't have Thunderbolt um, for the money. <laughs> Uh, whereas some other 570 motherboards do have Thunderbolt. But it's okay. I'm over it now. I'm over it. I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over it. I promise you. There we go. Bye.